guys, it's Lily and we are back with another speed build. So today we are doing kind of a hybrid of a California or Spanish style mission family home. Um, I decorated this house for a baby, a toddler, and two parents. Um, I just thought it was a really fun idea and I had so much fun building this house. I One of my favorite houses that I've built probably ever and I just think it is so cute and I saw a picture on Pinterest a little bit of a picture but I mainly kind of combined a lot of pictures together to kind of create my own thing and I saw these really cute decorative vents I think they're vents and we don't have anything like that but it was circular so I thought that those little like spindles looked really cute and yeah and so it was kind of tough, the plant situation, though, but, you know, whatever. We can talk about that later. Um, I absolutely love this house. So I saw this trick from Sim Lissy. This was in one of her more recent videos, and she just kind of put this, it was like her colonial build, I think, and she put this island living plant from Debug into... I don't know, like a pot or something, and anyway, it is one of the only plants that is an outdoor plant that when you put it inside it doesn't darken um like just darken everything up and so I was really excited to try it out um unfortunately I don't keep that but I did want to try it out so I thought it was really I don't know it's really cute anyway I'm glad I learned that but yeah I saw a picture on Pinterest of this really cute house that was kind of like this and it had a really big tree in the front and that was mostly my inspiration for this. I'm not sure what the backs of any of these, does anyone know what the back of any house looks like? I mean, I know we all look at Pinterest and it's not often that they show the backyard, but I think that's fun because everybody kind of creates their own backyard. Um, but anyway, yeah, I am having, so my dad would laugh at me because he told me that he really likes on my speed builds that I never like do this thing to the roof where it is in a point where if it rains the water would just be sitting there I can't remember what it's called right now of course but basically like you need to have all of the angles to allow water to flow down into the drain but um I did not do that here so all of the roof it's like if this was real life this would be a probably a leaking nightmare but anyway I am building a new crest today because I saw I was building and I kind of love building a new crest I don't know new crest is kind of cute but I saw all of these um palm trees last time I was building there and I was like oh well duh so you know I typically play in summer because I don't know what the plants are gonna look like and um so I don't, I'm sure in New Crest it gets snowy and stuff, but if there are palm trees in real life, it doesn't. So anyway, I thought that this house fit perfectly here because it does not snow in Southern California, which is apparently my theme of the year. I keep gravitating towards houses that are California inspired and that's all right with me. Um, so yeah, ugh, the shout out. So you can see I'm taking these plants from the debug and just kind of trying to put them in a thing. I made a garage and I think the garage is so cute. And obviously, obviously the garages don't work. But um, this house has a swimming pool, a nursery, a garage, a office area, and a swing set. I don't know. I'm sure there's more. It is also fully decorated for Christmas. So unfortunately, whenever I was building this, I built this like the day, a few days ago, and it was the day that our game was patched. And yikes, I mean, right after I built this, I went into the interior and that's when I grabbed the um, Ammo Bay's red shelf and, you know, everything <laughs> just went downhill from there so I don't you guys won't see me do too much clutter in here um because the shelf was not updated until today which you know what I think that is so amazing thank you so much Ammo Bay for doing that and that shelf is a lifesaver it is almost probably not even possible to clutter uh, without that shelf I know Twisted Mexi has a or Twisted Mex I'm not sure the name has a like t-o-o-l um, mod where you can move objects up by the decimal, but I don't have that. Um, so I'm cool with the red shelf, but anyway, 
Ammo Bay fixed it today, like one day later, so that's awesome. Um, so anyway, I decorated for Christmas, and I don't get to show that on the video because the shelf. But um, you can download it, and you will see it there. And it's also probably going to be in the screenshots. I don't know. I haven't put those in yet, but I'm sure that it will be. I'm trying to get this video out before university hits, and I that's 10 o'clock mountain time. I'm not sure what time it is for everybody else, but yeah, I had so much I struggled with the floor plan. I really love how it turned out, but it definitely took a second. Um, the house just was, I wanted it to be little and I wanted like a decorative porch like that. And I tried to keep the inside as much of the Spanish kind of um, theme that I was talking about earlier, the Spanish mis mission style. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, you know, some rooms are, some rooms are not, but that's whatever. And I just, I think it turned out really cute. But anyway, it took me a while to figure this out. And so I discovered something about myself doing this. Um, okay, so <laughs> I've been doing this, I think, for forever. I've been playing The Sims since I was, since it came out in 2000. And obviously I've taken like breaks now and then, but I've always been building in The Sims <laughs> Um, I, oh, so when I'm just sitting there thinking, I just toggle the camera around. Like I hold my mouse down and like I toggle the camera and like loop it and do all these crazy things. And oh my goodness, talk about an editing nightmare. I tried as best as I could to kind of edit out some of those like crazy turns, but unfortunately that's just me. Um, I hope that I can try to remember that uh, for my next speed build so that I'm not just swirling around and it's probably going to make me laugh during this. So I'm sorry, but I just think it's kind of funny. Um, save, save, save. Everybody has to save. Um, especially figure that out during the new update um, when my game crashed. I show you guys the nursery, but unfortunately I was building that when I picked up the red shelf. So there will be like a little bit of a, I don't know, you'll see. Um, yeah, so here I just kind of had to extend the house a little bit to make room for the family, but it's still nice and small and I really, really like that. It's nice and cozy, but it is still luxurious, I guess, and I think that that is really sweet because I imagine that maybe they were in their mid to late 30s. The whoever has a job, they are, you know, financially able to kind of have their first, maybe to buy their first house. And obviously their family is growing. So it's probably going to be time soon to move to a new house or to add on. Um, you can add on. You will have to minimize the pool if you want to add on, but um, you could also move. Um, so anyway, I just, this isn't a starter home because obviously it's not under 20K, but it is a new family home. And mm, I just think it's so cute, but there is a little office area, the garage, you know, all that stuff I talked about. So I guess you could say luxurious. And I finally really like my landscaping. So that's really nice. That was a good feeling. And yeah, my dad told me to not talk badly about my landscaping, but I, I'm not, I'm not talking badly about it. I liked it. So I, oh yeah, I also added a really cute side porch. So it has a fountain and it has two chairs, like a little sitting area. So I thought that was really nice. I know growing up, my mom spent a lot of time on the side porch, like talking to her friends on the phone. And I don't know, it's just kind of a really nice memory that I have. So I was excited to include that. Um, but yeah, so here we are. So this is kind of what I was talking about when I was mentioning the roof kind of holding, being a roof that retains a bunch of water. If you can see how there are eaves um, throughout the center of it that don't, wouldn't allow in real life for water to go all the way down. And, you know, luckily The Sims isn't real life all the time. So, well, it's not real life all of the time, but 
you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm kind of, it helps me whenever I place objects in a room to kind of grasp the size of what I'm going for here. And it's so funny because I made this bathroom bigger to add a bathtub because obviously that's where you would bathe your toddler and baby, probably bathe the baby in the sink. But um, I forgot to add a bathtub, but I did add a shower and it's still a really cute bathroom. I actually love that bathroom. So yeah, it was just hard to kind of fit everything in, but I did fit everything in and I think it all is fits really smoothly and it's not too crammed and it's, it's not too cluttered because I didn't get to clutter, but, um, it's probably not a bad thing. I went a little overboard on my last one. I haven't even, um, I don't even know. I just, every room and it looks really cute, but yikes. My computer was starting to feel it towards the end. Um, I love this tile so much. I had this tile in my house growing up. It was in our kitchen, our entryway. It was actually throughout the entire um, bottom floor of our house except for the bedrooms. And I love it so much. So I was so excited when the jungle pack came out and that was in it. And I use a lot of items from Jungle Adventure. Um... I don't know why they're like the shadows on jungle adventure drive me nuts. They are huge. And you, I know that all objects when you size them down have a little bit of a shadow, but the jungle adventure has a shadow, like just right from the get go. And it sucks because I think some of the most beautiful stuff in the game is from the jungle adventure pack, but it's not as usable because it darken it can darken up an entire wall. And uh, I just, you know, it's kind of frustrating. So it would be nice if I love the shadow idea, but it would be nice if we could like tone that down just a hair, but um, I'm sure that's not a top priority right now. But it would be nice. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to do this backyard right now. Um, I was struggling just a hair with kind of the height of the fence. And it said online a lot of Mediterranean houses, even though this isn't a Mediterranean house. I thought it was when I started building it. My dad and my boyfriend informed me that this is a mission style home when I was done. So but it said that a lot of Mediterranean houses have like a curved kind of fence, uh, kind of trying to lead you into the entrance. And um, so I was okay with the fence curving because I did adjust the uh, landscape or the uh, terrain. And I don't know though, I just, I felt like the fence was a little too short and you wouldn't want anybody really looking in when you were swimming with your kids and whatnot. And so we're onto the side area now though. It's such a, see this, I mean, it looks fine outside cause it's outside and it's fine if it's supposed to be an outdoor plant, but I'm going to put it inside. So yeah. Um, yeah. So we're on, that's the little sitting area. It's really cute. Oh geez. My camera. There I go. Um, I love these windows so much. I've never used all three of these windows. There are three different like window variations and it's those kind of oval ones. I don't know what they're called. And, and you know, I like do know what this stuff is called, but when I'm doing the speed build, my mind blanks and I, I forget. So it's, it's not the most important thing right now, but, um, oh, I just think this house turned out adorable. I really love it. And, I was trying to build on a 20 by 15. I'm glad that I didn't. Um, this is a 20 by 30 and I've never seen that in my life. I don't know. I just found that in the debug menu and I was like, what is this? But now, now I know. And I did, I do delete it, but, um, yeah, guys, saving is so important. It is just so important to save. There is nothing worse than, <laughs> working so hard on something and it just disappear. I mean, that is a really hard thing to get past. And so, yeah, save, save, save. The save police here are to tell you to save, but it's worth it. It is worth it. So yeah, I do a little bit of terrain pain. I had so much fun landscaping this house. I was just like, I just knew what I wanted going in and that felt really good. So 
Yeah, I know that, I mean, the driveway, obviously, soon it could be accessible. Ooh, I can't wait for the bikes. Okay, so the university pack comes out in, like, I don't know, T minus, I don't know, it's 3.30, 10. I can't do math right now, but, um, yeah, it comes out pretty soon, and I am so excited. I can't wait to build in it. I have never, like, I did build a dorm room, but it is not a functional dorm room, and that dorm room is probably my favorite build I've ever done, which is so funny. But um, I just think it's so cute. It's like very realistic. But um, I am excited to build the dorm room again. I didn't live in the dorms, so I don't even really know. But my friends did, so I can imagine. But yeah, I'm. there's so many new windows that came with that. That's like, oh, I can't wait for the new windows. And I saw some new paint. I saw some new... I don't know, Simlessia is a really good like build by overview video that um, kind of lays it all out there and I was just, I was so excited by the end of it. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get this video out before that because otherwise, you know, I would forget about it because I would just be building with the university stuff, but um any, anywho, we are, yeah, this fence, and I had to delete that, like, curved little edge around the pool. It doesn't, like, a fence, like, can't really go right there. I didn't know that when I did it, so I do have to get rid of that. But that is the master bedroom that has that little balcony thing off, um, like, in the uh, square bay. And I love that room. It is the most Spanish-influenced room in the build, and... I don't know why I didn't do that the rest of the house, but I wanted it to also be like a bright family home. And so, you know, hey, hey, what can you do? Not everything has to be perfect. Um, that front room is the nursery, which is so cute. I love that nursery. It's adorable. And yeah, I, oh, I kept seeing pictures of these kind of like hanging um, black kind of gaslight chandeliers or not, I guess chandeliers, but like a hanging light. And I was just so excited to incorporate those into the build. There were just so many things that were drawing me to doing this house. I was going to do like a giant Mediterranean home, but I'm in school right now and it's almost finals. And, you know, it's just I'm at that point where I have to work on my schoolwork a little bit more than I want to. Um, so I was going to save the Mediterranean house for later. I think some of the university stuff hopefully could maybe work in one of those. We'll see. But for now, we're just going to do this cute California Spanish mission. That's a tongue twister. It's a lot of S's. So yeah, that was, um, I wanted to kind of paint everything a bright color and just keep that bright theme going on. Um, there was a lot of dark wood, uh, darker wood in the um, Spanish California mission style homes. And I loved it. I thought it was so beautiful, but I didn't want to do too much of it because sometimes, you know, as when it translates, it can be just a little too dark and... I wasn't trying to go there, so I wanted to keep it bright, and that's probably when I steered away from the Spanish decor a little bit, but, um, you know, whatever. Um, to the right is the garage, and so I do go back whenever the shelf is fixed and I am cluttering things up. I do go back and add kind of a rounded um, archway instead of that beam um, that is separating the office from the kitchen. And I just thought that was a little bit more fitting to the style of the home. And yeah, I don't know. I really struggled with this kitchen too. It's just not my favorite. And I'm not talking bad about myself, but I'm just being honest. I just, you know, I don't know. Kitchens are, the kitchen is my favorite room in theory to design. However, the cabinets, I am getting kind of tired of them. Um, like not very many of them match the above cabinets. Um, I really, never mind. I could like go on a rant about this and I am not trying to be a ranter. So, um, nothing wrong with a ranter. I'm just saying it's not me. Um, so yeah, I was kind of trying to figure out which layout I was going to do and like which, you know, cabinet was going to work best. Um, I had to, 
unfortunately uninstall Harry's like kitchen, her custom content kitchen because of the patch and uh, I, I might have used that kitchen had I had that in my game. I think I definitely would have. It's honestly a perfect kitchen. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just trying, I wanted this room to be open, but I also wanted it to be, you know, not too open. I don't know. I wanted it to flow and uh, I don't know. Yeah. Just watching, watching this kitchen. I'm like, I remember you, you were stressful. You were stressful for me, but I love all of these tiles so much. I think that they are so cute and, oh, I love those a lot. I wish that we had some cabinets to go with them, but yeah, any who I don't clutter the house up. Like I told you guys earlier, um, which, you know, I still clutter it up a fair amount. I think, I mean, I just kind of raised the objects up on my own and did what I could with some of them, but I felt like this wasn't a home. I had to keep reminding myself that this wasn't a home for a kid yet. It was a toddler. And so some of those like activities that I wanted to include, it wasn't quite time yet age wise to have those in the house, like the family board that I do put in. So I had to remember that a little bit because I mean, I know you can set your gameplay to have a, I mean, I know you can literally age up somebody like immediately, but I don't know how long people, you know, typically play their toddlers for. And so, yeah, I just thought they could add that whenever they downloaded the house. Um, I just went through, I was trying, I was actively trying to not put you guys through like every single swatch because <laughs> I do that all the time. And it's not fun for me. It might not be fun for you. So I tried not to do that, but I just had to really tell myself like, okay, just move, move away, move away from the room. So here I am trying to put this plant back in the house. You see how it's not very dark. I mean, compared to the other plants that are outdoor plants, when you put inside, they are, you can't really even see them. This one looks fabulous. It still has its nice bright green and mm, I love that so much. Um, but I don't keep it as well because I do add a Christmas tree, um, in the final and I just felt like there was a little too much green on the left and the Christmas tree is so cute. When I saw that tree, I was like, oh my God, I am decorating for Christmas. That is, yes, it's time. I forgot that it was even time for Christmas. Um, it's like my birthday too, but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just kind of putting, that's why I didn't want to do the like super dark brown woodwork here because this house is smaller and this is a shorter uh, wall height. I did not want to overpower the walls. So I kept it as light as I could. Um, yeah, I feel like when I decorate, for Christmas, I should probably stop talking about that because I'm not going to show you guys like me doing that, but it is on the gallery and it will be in the screenshots. So do not fret. Um, yeah, this office area I thought was perfect. I think it is so cute. It is like you can walk in from the garage and it made sense to me to kind of have this office nook right here. Um, it's in between the nursery and the entrance and like the garage and the kitchen. I don't know. It just seemed like a really great spot. Um, so funny I didn't even think about it when I was doing this but watching this again my parents house like has there's similarities and I think I do that a lot I'm sure we all do I don't know but kind of go with what you have seen before um yeah I just kind of put a few things on here um this wasn't like totally an office but I imagined that whoever needed to sit here did spend some time here. Um, so I did put some things, but I didn't put every office, you know, item that you would maybe need. I was trying to make like drawers out of these and I do keep them. And I think that's like so cute. I don't know. It kind of looks like a little drawer, giving it a little flair, if you will. Um, yeah, I love this lamp too. I love this like matching office set. It is honestly one of the best things we have. I think it's really cute. It's works in almost every room. Um, yeah. So I'm just kind of, you know, lingering on the 
office area right now. Oh, I put like some coffee mugs. Like maybe, I mean, that's where I drink coffee. It's definitely when I get up and come here to this computer. Oh, see, did you see how dark that plant was? I mean, oh, yikes. But um, I drink my coffee always in the morning by my computer and all sorts of places. So I put a little coffee mug there. I thought it was really cute. And that is the hallway. I love hallways. I am always very drawn to hallway interior shots on Pinterest and I love them myself. Every time I have like a screenshot of a hallway, my boyfriend is like, eh, I'm like, what? Does everyone not love hallways as much as I do? But I just think they're really cool. I don't know. There's kind of like I don't know, really show things off there. So I was trying to go kind of with this restoration hardware style sofa. Um, I'm sure it's actually has another style, but that's what I associate it with. Um, but it felt a little too white to have that for a new baby and a toddler. Um, I know that if I had a new baby and a toddler, I would not have a white couch and probably not even a light beige couch like I have now and I would definitely have a slip cover so I was trying to think about that a little bit and keep this house as kind of real as I could but still give them like a charming you know nice environment to be in and uh, these chairs are like stark white <laughs> like I, I don't know but I just thought that they looked really cute so I think I kept them for a little bit but not in the long run and I'm finally so excited that I got to use the square table. Um, sometimes I go through and lighten up the walls with that like miscellaneous lighting from the show Hidden Objects cheat. And a lot of times it will blow out the kind of what is on the wall. But sometimes it's really, really helpful. And it could be really helpful in a screenshot too. Um, sometimes they translate a little bit darker than you are picturing on your game and so it just kind of you know adds a little extra light without having to add a well a source of light I guess without having to add something visible um, I think that is the cutest thing I just found that and I just found like that really cute trash can and the bottles and the bottles the bottles are adorable I don't know why they just are they look really sweet and I think I was in my last build and that's when I saw the bottle and I was like, I am doing a nursery. I love this so much. Um, so this is kind of the toddler's area over here. There are some toys and there are stuffed animals and just kind of like social building skill things. I know they learn faster when the parents teach them, but you can't always be, you can't always be there. So there are some things like that there. Um, I don't often use like a whole collection of paintings together like pre-arranged um, or pre-organized paintings but I thought that one was really fitting and I thought it looked nice and linear on this wall so I was excited about that it saved me some time and I think it's actually really nice so yeah I think I'm gonna try to take the island living plant again and throw it in that fern over there I don't know I kept trying to use it but I wish we just had an empty, well, we do have some empty pots, but anywho, um, yeah, so the back door was a little bit different before, but with this new patch, I will say there are some things that have kind of mm, a little glitchy. So some of my doors keep disappearing and I don't have any, mo I have, I don't have any CC. I never have other than Harry's kitchen and that red shelf and the reshade. Um, but yeah, I kind of fixed, like took out the kitchen and whatever, but, um, I don't know. My doors are still disappearing and like some of my like raised objects will fall to the ground and I don't know. I hope it doesn't happen eternally. Okay. Are those not so creepy? Those like Muppet head things. Those are weird. I saw those and I was like, what? So I just kind of set them there for a second. I take them away, but like, they're so weird. They're pretty weird. Um, they look like that show or whatever, but uh, eh, yikes. And that magazine is so cool too. I'm pretty sure that is supposed to be like the Time cover, that like super famous Time magazine. Um, 
with the thing you guys probably know um i've been doing this a lot though i've been using this like milk jug or like bottle and this flavor extractor bottle as decorative items i'm pretty sure that they don't um spoil um at least when i play test them i don't play test them for like days on end but for like a day i probably will and like morning through night through the next morning and they don't spoil well i don't know so I don't, I guess I don't always remember to look at those, but I don't think that they do. Um, so now we're in the master suite and it is my favorite room. I think it is so cute. I love it so much. This is kind of where I tried to edit out a little bit of my, uh, camera toggles because I was all over the place. And it's kind of like that in smaller houses because I like to be in the room looking at it so I can like get the essence of it or like a vibe of it. And if the walls, you know, it can just kind of push you out. But, um, okay, that's a hot water. Is that a hot water heater? I've never seen that before either. And I thought that was a really cute little picture and I don't keep it, but I thought it was really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just using those are from the toddler pack. They are supposed to be the other end of the lights, the hanging lights, and they're very handy. They come in handy all the time. You can, they're very versatile. So I use those to kind of like make it look like the suspending shelves have support and I use them as support beams, I guess, mainly. Um, yeah. So... I love this jungle temple. The stuff from jungle is pretty gorgeous. It really is. I love that chair too from cats and dogs. I think that chair, I think it's not from seasons. I think it's from cats and dogs, but it could be seasons. But, um, I think it is really a very pretty milky chair. I love that a lot. Um, a saving. Um, these lamps are, Oh, I finally got to use those. I love those lamps. They're from the get famous pack and I'm pretty sure that was just inspired. That was like a West Elm inspired pack, which I appreciate because I love West Elm. Um, I love those colors, that blue with that white. I think that looks really nice and kind of breaks up the white, black, and red, and you know, dark brown that I'm going with. The door to my right is one of my favorite doors that we have. I I know we have three like that. I feel like one of them's base game, but I don't really know. But uh, I just, I was really excited to get to use that door um, in this build. I'm going to use it again, probably. Uh, of course I am. I <laughs> use everything more than once, but you know what I mean. Um, so I was excited that like, I tried to keep this house not like crazy expensive. Like a lot of the drapes, except for the master and the living room, are those like eco panels and I don't know I just tried not to go too overboard um because that would not be fitting for a new family um let's just say life was a little bit hard without this red shelf life was really hard without the red shelf that was just that was a sad, sad day, but you know what? It was a really happy day today whenever we found out that it is fixed, and I think there's actually some other sad news that has happened today. Um, university is coming out, though, so that's exciting. Anywho, we are in the nursery now. I did, so I made this um, nursery before I furnished the house. It was the first room that I built, and it you know, midway through my game just disappeared and I had to, uh, go, sorry, my OBS just acted like it had stopped recording, but it did not. Um, I had to go back through and kind of like, you know, redo what I thought I had done. And so I tried to edit as smoothly as I could, but, um, it is not perfect, but anyway, so I made this adorable little changing table. I love that. I think that I wish it stood out a little bit more from the white shelf, but I didn't like the colors of the, you know, I, these were the colors that I liked. So, oh, and that clay llama, I'm like, that's adorable. Oh yeah. There's an arts and crafts pack coming out. Okay. At first I was really excited about that, but now I'm a little bit nervous because I think everybody is right in saying like this might not be everything we think it is. 
and it might limit us in the future. I don't know, but I mean, I am excited for it, especially I was doing like a grandma's room the other day and I wanted her to have like some sort of knitting thing going on, but I'm not sure if we get everything that was like on the list in the pack. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm still really excited for it though. They were all really cool. The science one was so awesome. Like the food and science kitchen appliances and the telescope and the micro, like all of those things. I was like, Oh my God, this is there. There was a really tough to even pick between the two. I didn't pick, I didn't vote, but it mentally, you know, it was hard mentally for me to decide which one I would want. But, um, so yeah, I just kind of put like a cute little thermometer over there and, uh, some tissues and some bottles. And I just love the way that table turned out. I think it is precious and, you know, I haven't really noticed like too much of that. You can tell my game crashed. So that's good. Maybe the wallpaper. Um, anywho, um, yeah, I thought this nursery was really, really sweet. So now we are in the master bath. And I really like this room. I think it turned out, I mean, bathrooms always turn out like if you try, bathrooms always turn out pretty cute. Uh, if you don't try, which is totally fine, um, you know, but sometimes I try, sometimes I don't. It depends on how extensive the build actually is. Um, definitely with my last one, which is a really cool video. It's like all Laurel Canyon inspired. It's on my channel. Check it out if you want. But on my last one, like the bathroom, it was like a very glamorous house. So I couldn't skip the bathroom. Um, and you know, it was fun, but I feel like that like makeup stuff is some of the most realistic things that we have for a girl in general, because almost all girls who wear makeup, like it, it just, that's just where it is. It's like sometimes in a stored but it's basically on the bathroom counter um it's like why even put it away because you're gonna have to put it on soon you know I don't know I don't wear makeup all the time but when I do it stays on the counter for a little while um I love this little those are from the fitness pack and they um are really cute posters I love them okay so now we are in the laundry slash garage and I think this room is cute it's like whatever, you know, it's like wh what your, what anyone's like normal garage would look like. It's not like packed full because you'd have to have a whole lot of stuff for it to be packed full, but it's definitely like, you know, whatever. So I am pleased with this room. That is for sure. And, you know, I couldn't clutter because this is definitely a situation where I would have used the red shelf. So I had to I had to stick with that pre-made laundry shelf, which gives a giant shadow as well. So do the jungle shelves, like those pre-kitchen shelves. Those are like, I can't even, I want to use those all the time. And like, I really can't. So I don't know, but I put some presents in there. I'm not sure what happens. I hope like the kid doesn't go in there, but I figured you always hide presents from your kids in random rooms. So I wanted to do that. Um, there's just a toilet in here, but you know, makes sense. It's like a really small bathroom and a sink won't fit in there. So, you know, you have another toilet. So we are nearing the end of the video and this is kind of the final touch. I didn't want to make it too crazy out here because obviously the kids are not grown yet. Um, so I just put like a little table and chairs and <laughs> throwing the camera around. Um, I've never seen this before until I was building this house, but I love those cute little chairs. I think they're adorable. I'm just really pleased with this build. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.